and a video. And look at my card collection. Look at my phone. Salamat. Salamat. Subscribe. And like and comment. And subscribe to the video. Like. Like if we're cute and Mark's ugly. Hey babes, today I am going to be doing a little hair and makeup get ready with me. I have so much oils on my face because my face feels so 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 dry during this winter and i just shaved today i am going to be trying out a bunch of new products some i bought myself some were gifted to me for pr do you know what even if you're not gonna get ready with me right now and like do your makeup to be honest i really love chatty get ready with me is regardless like you know on the background so i'm literally just sectioning up like a front bit of my hair and this is gonna be like my leave out for my wig okay so i'm gonna be you know wearing this 30 inch wig and she needs some loving i know this wig's a lace front yeah but i'm gonna wear it like i have a leave out because it makes it look a little bit more natural in that way look how long this wig is 30 inches she needs some love and i'm going to straighten her so today i'm actually going to be using the duval desire series styling iron look how beautiful this is i'm just going to turn it on and it heats up up to 450 degrees fahrenheit the setting on halfway just because this is synthetic hair so i'm not going to be like doing the full shebang shebang heat it's 30 inches long and i bought this from either ebay or amazon for like 40 pounds now it was kind of like a few years back i think i bought this back in like 2018 or something so i am going to try and find the link for you guys it is really good quality it's lasted me so so long and it is still really good quality obviously it's a bit scraggly right now but okay Let's just use the straighteners. Oof. You need really good straighteners to like straighten these out because these are really, really long. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? So that is the before and after of one section of the hair. You can see how much that smoothed that down. It is a really good quality wig and the straighteners are really good as well. These are $95 on the website, so um, I will give you a coupon code and it's a really good coupon code. This is 70% um, off you guys, Mark70, M-A-R-C-70, and you will get 70% off on your Duval purchase if you get these straighteners. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Good and Bad Hydrating Serum. I'm going to use this as a primer. This has got dragon fruit and vitamin B5 in it. This is not a new product, but it's a new product to me. So I'm just using like a pump of that. It smells nice. It smells like fruit. <laughs> So today for the foundation, I'm going to be using the Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint. This is a tinted moisturizer, you guys, and it's got 55 mil in there. So I'm going to be trying this out today. Before that, though, you know, I always have to like do a little bit of coverage on my beard area. So I'm just going to go ahead with my good old faithful, my Barry M um, All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Almond. I'm just going to go around the usual areas that I do. This is running out as well. So this is literally all I've got left, so I'm literally scraping the barrel. Literally, this is just for coverage. I don't even blend it in, like, properly. I kind of blend it with the foundation once I apply the foundation on. Um, I just need a little bit of, you know, <laughs> basically my skin is um, really gray around this area now. Uh, I think it's gotten darker as I've gotten older and I really don't like a five o'clock showing, you know what I mean? Um, well, I also don't like to apply an orange. Uh, I don't really tend to do that as much anymore. Um, just because sometimes it does look really orange. <laughs> so you can see the consistency is quite thick. 
Um, that's really pale. Uh, we're gonna make it work. Uh, maybe I should have got the shade in medium because this is <laughs> this is quite light. But to be honest, as a makeup artist, like and me as well. I mean, you've watched quite a few of my videos by now, hopefully, and you know, um, I make loads of different types of foundations work depending on if it's too dark then I'll just lighten it put with a bit of concealer um, or if it's too light then I'll just darken it up with a bit of bronzer so the coverage on this as I'm applying it it's definitely light coverage and um, let's do some building let's see if it builds up the coverage it's definitely taking down my redness in that way and evening everything out it blends really nice and it looks really nice on my skin you can still see like my spots going through like my blemishes and imperfections in that way but it's definitely like covered up the redness and evened out my skin tone okay so now that we've finished with that i'm gonna go ahead with the revolution i think this is from the same line the eye bright illuminating under eye concealer in medium this is it uh this has got vitamin c in there this is actually being compared to a lot to the what is it the charlotte tilbury concealer this is a good shade it's not uh overly bright it is an eye concealer but i'm just gonna apply it to my spots as well just because um i need those covered up a little bit the consistency is really really light like where the skin tint is a creamy texture this is definitely like very liquidy it almost like blends in like like it's got like a milky consistency uh which is like different for concealers it's very liquidy i really like it oh this concealer is nice look how dewy i look this is i mean as it says i mean the, the skin tint is super dewy not just dewy super dewy for an eye concealer it's definitely covered up some of my spots and imperfections to be fair i'm really into that my skin looks lovely it's so so nice okay so i'm gonna go ahead with uh this product that i bought like back in december but i've not actually tried it yet it's the Stila sunrise splendor convertible color dual lip and cheek palette definitely could have you know uh shortened the name a little bit but this is the packaging Qu quintessential Stila english rose which is this uh nudie color just because I think these two are a little bit too bright and maybe that will be too dark. But let's have a look. Just dipping that in. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, it's definitely pale. I don't even think you can see that on camera. Let me mix that in with Tulip, which is this berry colour. So let's just like mix the two. Oh shit. That is a lot now. Oh what? Okay. Okay, I mean, I like Dewey, but this is just a little bit too much. So I am just going to go in with a little bit of Too Faced powder. This is Born This Way in, in Golden Beige. This isn't new at all. Um, I've used this quite a bit. Um, I don't have any powder to show you guys, so let's use this. I have grown to really, really enjoy um, cream products as time has gone on. I was always like powder, 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 but um, my mate James, who is also a makeup artist, who also happens to do YouTube now, by the way, um, got me into creams, to be honest. He has influenced me into the cream game. So I recommend checking out his new channel. I'm not going to apply too much product, I'm more or less kind of like blotting it with the powder almost. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my MAC bronzing powder in matte bronze. I think there is a way to look glam by using a tinted moisturiser, by using cream products, by not using like, you know, baking loose powder, like overkill, overboard in that way, like that kind of Instagrammy kind of look. Um, which I'm gonna try and like incorporate, you know, Instagram glam with kind of like a more natural base. Um, it's definitely not, it's definitely not 
natural natural because I did apply a lot of product on my face just now but it definitely looks a lot more fresh. I'm just going to go ahead with some of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. This kind of ties in the blush as well, it's not like crazy, it's just, just a hint of a highlight. Okay guys, just as a little bit of an announcement, I am a new ambassador affiliate for Patrick Tar. This video isn't sponsored, but um, I will let you guys know that I do, I am an affiliate for Patrick Tar now. So I'm going to be using the Patrick Tar Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. So uh, this is the box and this is the packaging. Look how bougie this is. This is just so, so bougie. Like it's like a light pink liquid inside. Um, so let's just try her out. Mm. It smells nice. It's not too, too like fragrant, but it does have a little bit of a, like a nice sweet floral scent. Going ahead with my brows, I'm gonna go ahead with a super, super exciting product. I got this through the post and I was like, what is this? And it's the W7 Brow King Ultimate Eye and Brow Palette. The Brow King is Sal. Sal is World on Instagram. I've known Sal for quite a few years now. Um, I actually remember um, Sal when I first started. YouTube and I think he was just starting out with like Instagram and everything and now like he does like little mix uh, If I know anything about Sal is that he's a hustler and he works really really hard I actually worked with him with W7 a couple of years back for a campaign back in the summer We were also in a reality TV show together with Ruben Demade. So um, honestly congratulations Sal, you really deserve it. It's about damn time a brand has recognised you for your work and did a collaboration in terms of a palette. Um, so the packaging is like silver and black, really really nice and sleek. So this is the inside you get a uh, mirror, uh, you've got basically everything in here. You get a brow wax, you've got seven uh, brow shades all the way from light blonde to black. You've got a mixing well palette over here as well and also a brow gel. Also you get a highlighting pencil so you do get a brush with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead a little bit with the brow wax and I'm actually going to, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it but this is the way I'm gonna do it, is mix that in with a little bit of medium brown. You guys know I I don't usually do my eyebrows but today is going to be an exception because I really want to try out Sal's products in that way and use transition and use that as a brow highlight I'm just gonna go ahead with um, a lighter color um, dry just to set the brows in place and to mattify it down as well because with the brow wax it is a little bit shiny. I, I'm going to be using the Brow King Gel. This brow palette has pretty much got everything that you would need from like a brow palette. It's got your wax, it's got your gel, it's got you know your eyebrow brush, it's got so many different shades for every single kind of natural hair colour. The tones are incredible as well because they're not really warm, they're you know a cooler toned brow colour. W7 is really affordable as well. So congratulations again Sal on your collaboration palette, um, you can get this from Tesco, you can get this from the W7 website and going in again with uh, the W7 Hype and um, this is a product that I actually did by myself, um, so this is the W7 Show Off Press Pigment Palette, there are 14 shades and um, this reminds me a lot of the Unreasy palette from um, Anastasia, so let's go ahead and try her out. I'm gonna go ahead with Parade using the brush that comes with the palette. It does come with a mirror as well, which is really nice. And I'm just gonna apply that to the crease. So far, you guys, honestly, like I've pretty much liked every product that I've tried. The only one that I'm kind of iffy about probably would be the Stila Cream Brush Palette. The Cream Blush Palette, I just think the colours are a bit weird. You know, one's too sheer, one's too pigmented. I'm gonna go use Influence, which is this darker brown shade, and apply that to the outer corner of the eye. 
that shadow is pigmented. Let me just blend that out a little bit more. Okay, I guess we're gonna go smoky today. It does have kickback on the palette. That's pretty normal for eyeshadow palettes in my opinion. Um, I don't like um, my eyeshadows to be pressed too, too hard. I'm gonna sharpen up the outer corner with a bit of concealer. So I am gonna go ahead with my P. Louise base and just do a little cut crease moment. I'm gonna dip into Ruler, which is this gold, beautiful metallic shade, and apply that to the outer half. After that, I'm gonna use Attitude, which is this kind of like rosy gold color. I'm really impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows, to be honest. And right into the inner corner, I'm going to use Fleur, which is this pink, and I think it's got like greeny, bluey shimmers running through it. These are powdery, the metallic shades are powdery, so just bear that in mind. This one looks like a clear shade with pink and green like reflex to it. Let's watch a few of more of the colours, so this is Loud. Proud, and let's do another matte shade. This is Roast. Very, very, very nice. I'm just gonna do Parade again and Influence onto the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go ahead with my P. Louise base again to the waterline. Going ahead with my Kibes Long Lasting Eyeliner. This is in the shade brown. This, when you buy this, it comes with like 12 shades. All in like different colors. Is it the most pigmented eyeliner I've ever had? No. Is it the smoothest? No. Is it gonna work for this video? Yeah, it's, it'll work. I definitely have to go past it a few times to get like more of a pigment. I think I'm gonna smudge that out a little bit using Influence. Just smudge out the top side of the liner, make it a little bit more smoky. I think that will look nicer. Lovely! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and these eyelashes from Get That Angle Eyelashes from Eyelash Emporium Pro. So I'm gonna pop these on and I'm gonna come back. So that is basically the eyes done. I'm gonna go ahead with my lip product. So before I go ahead with any of that, I'm just gonna use my Atmosphere again. This is a new product that I've been using, you guys. It's a little gadget. This is a contactless sanitizer. So basically you just leave it on your counter or I leave it on my bedside table. And I applied it before I did my hair and makeup, but now I've got just like makeup all over my hands. So basically you just turn her on and she's like automatic. So you pop the alcohol sanitizer that comes with the package and you just put your hand on top of it and it mists your hands. It's just that cool, like how cool is that? How easy is that? And it's chargeable and you just pop liquid in there and it lasts honestly a really really long time. Now that I've got clean hands, now I can dip into the Patrick Ta lip mask and use it as a lip balm. You can use this kind of overnight to, you know, prep your lips and also hydrate them and keep them hydrated throughout the night. But this is like a nudie colour. It comes out clear though. It smells like peppermint vanilla and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm just kind of using it as a prep for my lip products but... I can't wait to use it as a lip mask. Oh my god, that smells so divine. You know, if you're gonna dip into your lip balm. <laughs> so this is a nude gloss with like bluey, purpley and gold shimmer running through it. And it's like a nude colour. Again, with the peppermint smell. So that is basically it for this get ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed it with my, you know, with my 
30 inches. So um, let's talk about the standout products. Um, the W7 products honestly are amazing. Again, congrats Sal for this amazing brow palette. You must be so proud of this palette because honestly it's sickening. And I'm a huge fan of the Patrick Tarr products. And I'm not just saying that because I am an affiliate. These are actually really, really nice. It's like an experience. Using these products, it's like an experience. Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. It's like, it's an experience putting it on as well as that it's performing. The Stila Cream Blush Palette is not something that I want to recommend just yet. Just because, oof. One was too sheer, one was too pigmented, it was greasy on my face. The Kibest eyeliner, it's a miss for me. And the last two things that I'm gonna be recommending is the Skin Tint and the Eye Bright Concealer. It looks amazing, it looks incredible. My skin looks really nice and I'm really into it. In terms of how long it lasts, obviously I'm gonna have to try try all that out today and see how long it lasts but so far so good I really really like my base and this is a good way again like I've mixed up glam with looking natural still with all the cream products and a tinted moisturizer I think I still look great you know you don't have to do full coverage all the time to look glam so that is pretty much it you guys um, I hope that you subscribe to my channel and comment and like and all of that and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys